Hello and welcome to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on so that you can get the notification about my new tutorials. Today we are going to look at how to use an Excel file to create your own kind of password vault. Um, you have free vaults available to store your passwords, protect them. You can use any one of them, but I'm just using Excel to store my password credentials and I'm protecting it with a master password and I'm just trying to make these password uh, hidden uh, so it should not be visible just right away. So to do that, of course, we are going to use Excel file uh, over here. And of course, I have Excel right now running over here and we'll create a new book okay and uh, once we are creating a new book up to you how you would like to um, name the starting header of it i normally try to create serial number um, web portal or anything um, whatever you would like to con configure uh, type over here and uh, any comments you would like to write over here, uh, you can put over here easily or you can do username and then you can put your password over here. All right. First of all, uh, one thing which I normally do um, before I store anything or something uh, or I add something, what I do normally, I have to save this file somewhere, of course, right? So I'm going to keep it in let's say my docs and i'll say credentials just for the safe side uh, now if you see right now uh, if if you look at it we have saved this file just like as it is and if i try to open this file over here in the document when i'll go this file i'm easily able to open so of course how you you must be thinking how it is secure we are not going to use it this way. What we are going to do is we are going to save this file as and while saving this file, what we are going to do is we are going to go to tools and you see we have general options over here and always create a backup we can do. But what I'm doing is I'm going to use a password protection over here. I'll type my password and I'll say OK. Okay. You need to make sure that this, this, if you forget this password, this file will not be open, right? So you need to be careful about it. You should be knowing this password. Um, and I'm going to click on save. I'll say replace and yes. Now this file is saved. Let's go over here and try to open this file. You see, it needs my password to open this file first step and uh, if I want the right access then I need to enter my second password if I need only read only then I don't need to enter the second password uh, I'm going to put it like this let's say this is my serial number I'll say maybe my outlook username maybe abc dot abc at just tech talk dot com password whatever i'll keep it let's say i'll say one two three four five six for now of course this is not the password we should be keeping but over here i'm going to keep it like this and you see this is done what i'm going to do is is going to change it like this now let's say i'll say something azure all right and i'll say maybe the username is just just tech let's go talk password is whatever password i would like to keep it okay now this is save now this way i have secured my 
username and passwords passwords even if so, somebody is looking at this area when you have opened a file there are very less chances that they would be looking over here but what i'm do, trying to say is just to make sure you don't have anything just right away appearing over here if you don't want to keep the title over here as password don't keep it because you know that after the username you'll have your password and uh, secondly as i said that this file is now secured with password so if anybody is trying to open this file uh, that person needs a password to open this file and i'm not going to use this time the write password i'm going to go with a read password now let me try to write something okay and save it you see right now the file is in read only and i cannot change the data over here either i have to save it again or anything or i have to change it from uh, I change it to write only by just using uh, opening it via with the password or to open it with password so that's how you can do it so this is all about how you can create a simple excel file to create your own small password vault and if let's say you 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 are willing to do it you have possibility to even hide this column that's it so it will not be visible as it is to anybody thank you so much for watching this walkthrough please use the comment section below to let me know if this solves your problem or this is what you are looking for and to discuss more about any of the technologies which i'm talking about thank you and stay blessed